I'm struggling with a clarifier today. Again. Yeah, Alan. Alan, you got a copy on Fred in the Shed? Fred, you there? Yeah, Alan, I've got you. You got a copy back on me? I have indeed, yes. Is it uh, loud and clear or am I talking or what? Um, well, considering that I'm sitting in the shed, Alan, it's uh, it's a really good copy actually because we're probably we're well over a mile. We're probably about 1.3 miles away from each other. Back to you. Oh right, well I'm sitting inside the car, so it's not doing bad, is it? Oh, nice one. Well, I'm using a Bofang UV5R with a slightly longer antenna. What what radio are you using, Alan? Uh, a Bofang UV5R. Well, there you go. So, yeah, both fun to both fun. Yeah, it's, that's not a bad copy. I mean, there's a lot of infrastructure in the way. I, I normally only get roughly um, maximum of two kilometres out of these radios. So, yeah, that's uh, that's a good copy, Alan. I'll take that any day of the week. Back to you. Well, I'm amazed because you're the very first person I've spoken to on this. I've had it for nearly a year. And every time I've it, I get nobody at all. So I'm beginning to think it wasn't working. Oh, yeah, it's definitely working. I so say it's, uh, it's definitely working. I should hopefully get a little bit on video. I'm just using my phone at the moment, so I don't know how well it will come out. But yeah, definitely working for you. And I say, yeah, that's a, that's a good contact. I, I don't get anyone. I, I get no one at all, really, on uh, the old uh, the old Bofang, yeah? No, it's a bit really. It's, just, it's, it's a nice band to use, really. It's quite noise-free, isn't it? Yeah, that's a rod. It is. It is actually. It works. You know, it works really, really well. But it's very, very quiet around this area. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where I am in North London, it is completely dead. I get the occasional school child coming on. You know. But um, as regards speaking back, I, I've got nobody until now. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? As I said, but you know, when you just look on uh, YouTube and things, further up north, further up north, there's um, quite a few little nets that go on weekly on PMR and I was always hopeful that something would go around this area but uh, unfortunately not but uh, you need to re I mean you really you need to be on high ground don't you to get the best I mean this is a good contact you sitting in a car me sitting in a shed so it does prove that these little radios um, they are cheap and cheerful but they do work Alan over they well obviously they do now I mean I'm quite surprised really um, I mean a mile and a half isn't bad at all and I know it's reasonably open ground here where I am, it's, it's quite built up, but higher. So, you know, I, I couldn't understand why I couldn't get a decent copy to anybody, but uh, there you go, it works. Oh, that's definitely a rog there, definitely a rog. I mean, if we was on, you know, hilltops, we was on the higher ground, um, it would do it would do better. I've tested these before, and I've got about two kilometres, so it's about 1.6 miles. Um, I've spoken to Awesome before. And he's just over over the mile, so they definitely work. And if you, if you put up a uh, seventy centimeter sort of uh, antenna, you know, a, a, say a base station antenna or a little T two LT, I've got. If you can get one of those up high, especially on the high ground, you can get some uh, good distance on the PMR. But it, as I say, like I say, it's just never really taken off around this area. Oh, I find that a bit sad, really. I actually went up to Muswell Hill, up to Alexandria Palace the other day and tried giving a call out from there, across London, but I got absolutely zilch back. Yeah, yeah, I, I've really not had much success here. Um, there's a couple of local schools and businesses that are using the bands as well. But um, there are, there's activity on 10 metres. There's definitely uh, people on 10 metres around this area, but I, I might have to have a, have a listen out. I, I've not been doing any recently, but... Yeah, it's a shame, really, but it might be one of those things. I thought it might pick up in lockdown, but CB went, CB did pick up. It went a bit uh, crazy for a while, but I didn't really notice anything on the PMR band, over. No, no, likewise. I, I mean, I, I picked up on CB for the first time in, what was it, since 1980. Um, and I'm, I'm quite into that, as you know, but uh, until I get that 
Syria out for the CB. I'm, I'm a bit stupid. But in the meantime, let's get back on the CB, yeah? Yeah, no problem. I'll uh, I'll see you on the upper side, Bam. Cheers. Well, there you go. Um, just a little bit on my phone here. That's uh, Alan. Now, Alan is normally in Frying Barnet. He's got the indoor T2LT antenna, so I really struggle with him. And he's, he said he was going to do it, and he's driven out He's driven out this way to get onto the 305 group. Driven out to get on the 305 group. And, uh, yeah, we just got him on the PMR. He's, he's about, well, probably about just over a mile, between a mile and a mile and a half away. And that's a really good contact on the PMR. Right, going to get back on the old CB now. It's all go today, isn't it? Oh, got to switch the power supply on.